Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another installment of As Failed on TV Dinner, the series where I embark on a journey to find the best, the worst, and the downright bizarre among frozen meals. And I'm excited that you're with me today because, you know, that's, that's not always a guarantee, you know, no, not every day is guaranteed, and I say that because, you know, I had, I had a bit of a scare. I am, you could probably tell by listening to my voice, I am getting over an illness. I had, I had a slight case of strep throat, but it's okay. I, I lived, obviously, I made it, and I blame the Hungry Man Brownie from last time. Not, not the fact that I uh, didn't cook it correctly. No, 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 no. I, I accept no blame. You can, you can just hit Snitsky's music because it wasn't my fault. <laughs> so, yeah, last time we covered the Hungry Man Salisbury Steak, and the reason why I chose it, as I said in the previous episode, is because I thought it would be fine, and it ended up being perfectly fine. It was a good baseline to compare everything else we cover in the future to. And when you start with something that is average, you have two choices of what you can do for a follow-up. You can either do something that you are fairly certain is going to be good, or you could do something that you think is going to be very funny. Sweet, innocent little banquet. I think it's generally accepted that Banquet is the uh, kind of the, the low tier when it comes to frozen food. Everything about it just screams cheap. The, the packaging is, is cheap. The, uh, the price is cheap. This cost $1.68 at Walmart, even with 100% natural chicken breast with rib meat. The food they chose is is cheap. Chicken nuggets are pretty widely considered to be on the lower end of the food spectrum. Like it's kind of, uh, I think it's generally accepted, even though a lot of adults like chicken nuggets because adults my age are still essentially children. Uh, chicken nuggets are kind of considered kid food, um, as is macaroni and cheese. Uh, and great banquets version of the uh, chocolate brownie. Can't wait. Does it say to remove it? Remove film from meal. Remove chicken nuggets. It doesn't say to remove the brownie, so banquet gets it. I don't want to remove the chicken nuggets. That also seems like a pain in the ass. Oh God, why are these things so obnoxious? Anyway, today we are covering this meal, the chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, and brownie. I assume this will be terrible. I'm actually, honestly, as much as I know I'll hate the brownie and I'm sure the chicken nuggets will be terrible, I'm more worried about the mac and cheese. I am incredibly picky. When it comes to mac and cheese, I like a very specific kind of crappy mac and cheese. Like, I prefer it to be creamy as opposed to gooey. Like, I, pref I like the taste of a Velveeta shells and cheese. Like, those taste really good. I wish I could have that with the consistency of craft, because I like, there's a, there's no good way to say this. It's going to sound gross no matter what. I like my mac and cheese wet. The wetter, the better. <laughs> no point in being scared of it. We might as well just fucking just eat it. God, these boxes are terrible. Ugh. All right. Well... I guess it could be worse. Initial impressions, gotta admit, not great. We got some scary looking shit going on here. Okay, so we got the chicken nuggets, which are, you know, you know they're frozen, but they're pretty plump, which is kind of okay, I guess. The mac and cheese has some, like, mm, discoloration. What is that? Why is it? that color is it chocolate did like chocolate get in that's chocolate okay i was like well there's only other one there's only one brown thing in this whole meal and it's this slab of god it feels like pudding 
get the nuggets out of here. This is so stupid. I'm gonna do this. All right, I'll be back in a jump cut. Here we have our meal. It looks very sad. Well, th you know, I would say the nuggets look okay. They're like decently colored and I mean those little flecks, like singular fleck of pepper is on there, which I appreciate, but they are so, you're not gonna be able to tell on camera, but they feel like really hollow, like like there's a, a big cavern of air between the chicken, the 100% natural chicken breast with rib meat and this batter that it's encased in. Um, the mac and cheese looks terrible. Um, looks terrible in the way that I don't care for. There's not really a whole lot of it. The brownie honestly looks like the least scary. Sorry, trying not to get the lens to fog up here. I don't think I'm being very successful. Uh, I don't know. The brownie actually looks the least threatening. Let's start with a chicken nugget. Um, and like they look okay. As far as crappy chicken nuggets go, you could probably do a lot worse. It's hot. My expectations were low. There's like nothing going on there. There is no flavor whatsoever. Like I pulled it out with the fork. That is what the inside, that is their 100% rib meat. Tastes like nothing. You know something? I've watched other people who talk about food and say it tastes like nothing. And I always think to myself, what a, a useless critique. How could something taste like nothing? Never mind. I'm sorry, guys. I take it back. These taste like nothing. I'll try one more plain as I, maybe it was just like, maybe just the one I got. Like this one has two flecks of pepper on it. Let me see if I can taste that pepper. I can't even say that this tastes like sponge. Like this doesn't, this doesn't have the texture of sponge. It has a texture of like porridge. It's like if you use the most plain ass shit breading you could find in deep fried porridge. That's these. Look at this fucking shit. This is terrible. But we gotta try it. Here's mac and cheese. I was expecting a lot worse. It's still not good. It's not good at all. But it's, I was expecting a lot lower tier. It's still bad. Like the cheese flavor is barely noticeable. Again, these are just gritty elbow noodles. It's just so bland. It doesn't taste like cheddar. It's like if you melted American cheese and then added water. That's this. I am gonna get some sweet baby rays in there. Maybe making it taste like literally anything else will improve it. Try this, Let's dunk it in some uh, sweet baby rays. Doesn't help much. Yeah, these. this is an absolute nightmare. These are awful, but you know what? Uh, I don't even want to touch the brownie, so let's see what's on TV. Welcome back, everyone, to Science? Science. Science! I'm your host, Lucy Goosey, and this is my science box. Today, we are asking the age-old question. Coke. Pepsi. What's the difference? I don't know. I'm not a fucking chemist. I'm a marine biologist, and biologically speaking, I live in Carolina, so Pepsi is my favorite, but Atlanta is one of my favorite cities, so I'm partial to Coke. But which one tastes better? I don't know. I'm not a fucking chemist. Man, they'll let anybody be a scientist these days. Time is money and money is currency, but the most important currency is time. It's possible to get more money, but you can't get more time. You can't check your account balance of time. Time is the one check you don't want to have bounce, because it matters more than money. Yeah, but I need USD to pay rent. So, I'm sorry, motivational poster channel. This episode of As Failed on TV Dinner is brought to you by me, 
myself, and I. Specifically this YouTube channel, which you should subscribe to because this is where all the YouTube videos go. I do all of the everything here, and I would very much like for you to subscribe. As long as one person is subscribed to this channel, then that, to me, is a success. So all of you should subscribe, so that way you can ensure that you are the one who stays. And if everyone stays, then everyone is subscribed. That's just math. <laughs> I now return you to my show. Man, what a sellout. It's time for dessert. I didn't do it wrong this time. One thing actually was going on in the comment section of the last video where there was a response to my question of why anybody would ever, why would anybody bake one of these, like put it in the oven? Because on The Hungry Man, you can do that if you want to wait like 50 minutes. And there was a really thoughtful comment that said it was actually more to do with the brownie because you would bake a brownie as opposed to microwaving it. And, you know, fooey on me for getting it wrong. And I was like, that's a good point. But, like, the whole point of these is you don't want to fucking wait. Like, who would ever want to spend 50 minutes waiting for one of these? And this does look about the same, but there was no instruction to take it out. And you only cook this particular meal for about four minutes. So maybe this is, like, how it is intended to be. It still feels pretty hard. And I assume it will be terrible because it is the banquet version of the microwave brownie. Oh, here we go. It's not as bad. Like it is, shockingly, it's better than the other one. It still has that weird sort of cakey texture that I described last time, but actually, surprisingly, the chocolate flavor on this is a lot better. It's still like really weak. This is worse. Um, don't let, don't even be fooled. Part of me was kind of hoping Banquet could pull off the underdog story and be marginally better than the Hungry Man. It is not. Uh, these chicken nuggets are an abomination. I hate these significantly. They are flavorless, um, have weird, have a weird texture and are bad. The macaroni and cheese, Borders on fine, but that's really not the case. It's the best thing here. Mm. No, no, that's too strong. Somehow the brownie is the best part because I think I have the most positive things to say about the brownie. Um, this is so much worse. Um, congratulations to whatever comes next because being worse than this is going to be a task. This was was terrible. I don't even know if I want to finish it, but we don't waste in this house. Um, ugh. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode of As Failed on TV Dinner. I've been your host, Chris the Nerd, and I will see you guys next time.